Welcome to the keyboard, Mr. Bill Charlap. It's been a big year for one of the most acclaimed jazz pianists in the world. Bill Charlap won a Grammy with his longtime friend Tony Bennett and became the new director of jazz studies at William Patterson University, where he follows in the footsteps of some legendary jazz musicians. It's wonderful to be able to share with the next generation of musicians and to learn from them at a place that I respect so much. This is important though. My predecessors here are some of my all-time heroes. Thad Jones, one of the geniuses of American music. The great Rufus Reed, one of the great bass players in the history of this music. And then two gentlemen who I can't admire more, the great James Williams and Mulgrew Miller, another musical giant. They were my predecessors here at William Patterson. There you go. Uh -oh. He, I think, is in the process of falling in love with this place, and his passion for teaching is as deep as his passion for the music, and that's saying something. Let, 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 let it keep going. Let it keep going. Keep going. They're in a state of very constant and quick growth, particularly at this time in their development. And sometimes from week to week, there are very great strides that happen. He knows about all the piano players from Art Tatum all the way up to Herbie Hancock and beyond. And uh, he has a real deep history of the music. It's, it's great to work with him. He, he can break down a lot of stuff musically. He, he's really so big on lyrics. I think you've got to put the words with the notes here. It's, you know, uh, smoking, drinking, never thinking of tomorrow. Nonchalant. That's important because the phrasing of a bee boo bee ba, ba bee da. We're preparing for a concert that we're going to be doing at Dizzy's Club at Jazz at Lincoln Center. So everyone is excited to be playing there. Jazz at Lincoln Center is essentially the center of jazz in the, in the world. And to be able to play at Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola in front of all these people at this place in the center of New York, it's amazing. Is no stranger to jazz at Lincoln Center, and in fact, got married there to fellow jazz pianist Rini Rosnes in 2007. The duo regularly perform together, have recorded for Blue Note, and recently played for William Patterson's long-running Jazz Room series. Rini Rosnes is one of the world's greatest jazz piano players. Long before we were ever together or even knew each other, I was aware of her work. She's played with James Moody, Joe Henderson, Wayne Shorter, so many giants of this music. It's about communicating. It's about telling a story, allowing somebody else to speak, listening, to not plan it out. And that way you discover something new, or at least that's the goal. When Bill and I play together, it's very much like a conversation. Uh, we bounce things off one another and he might play something that inspires me to react in a certain way or vice versa. I mean, that's the beauty of jazz. That's kind of what jazz is all about anyway. My greatest influences, at least my earliest influences, are my parents. My father was Moose Charlap. He was a great theater composer who wrote most of the music for the Mary Martin Peter Pan, songs like I'm Flying. I must be a sight lovely to see. Oh, yes, I'm flying. 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 But I remember being around my father's energy and his intensity 
and more than that, his craftsmanship. He died when I was very young, uh, when I was seven years old. Bill's mother is the singer Sandy Stewart. But she's a great, great singer. Uh, she sang with Benny Goodman, and she was Grammy nominated in the 60s for Kander and Ebb's first hit song, My Coloring Book. We performed together. We've made a few albums together. It's very clear our love is here to stay. Not for so, uh, every song is an A-side. Thanks to you. You play so wonderful, you know. You have such a great group. Bill's Grammy with Tony Bennett was for an album featuring songs of Jerome Kern. Reenie and Bill's longtime trio with Kenny Washington and Peter Washington are also featured on some of the tunes. I'm close with Tony. He's a dear friend. I hear him singing in my inner ear when I hear these songs. Well, like yourself, I mean, there's certain things, the way you play, I could sing over that, but I, would, I wouldn't dare do that, because I, I know that what you're gonna come up with feeds me to come up with the next phrase. Playing with him, playing with Rini and him, playing music with Kenny Washington and Peter Washington and Tony, playing Kern's music that I had listened to my mom sing with my greatest mentor, the pianist Dick Hyman. All of those things together made a very spiritually and musically rarefied affair. Of life. There are so many things that are going on in my life that are in balance. I just feel really lucky. I feel blessed. The New Jersey State Council on the Arts, encouraging excellence and public engagement in the arts since 1966, is proud to co-produce State of the Arts with Stockton University, New Jersey's distinctive public university. Additional support is provided by the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation, 